greetings and welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Um, I've gotten a few questions from different people on how to create, um, you know, text that will display on the screen through the HUD or something else, something that is not a print string, because it turns out the print string doesn't show when you are actually building the game which I didn't know so I thought I'd show you how to display text in another way uh, I'm not gonna show you how to display text through a HUD because uh, I don't remember how you do it but I'm gonna show you how to create an in-game pop-up message so if you pick up a key card then some text will pop up above the key card and say you picked up the key card for example and then it will be gone again uh, and I realize it's not as good as having you know the text being rendered on the screen but it's still it's a solution you know and if you don't know anything else then that might help so and it might actually be pretty cool if you know you create the text so that it looks like you know some self-illuminated uh, sci-fi you know whatever <laughs> so this is the level I'm gonna be using to demonstrate this is just a level I'm working on for a game that might or might not uh, happen so this is uh, simply a placeholder for you know here's a door and it's locked so you see the print string saying you need a green key card and when you get it the light will turn off which will symbolize the door being open and so you need to go find the green key card so we're going to take the elevator and it seems like it's lagging a little bit it's probably because I'm both videotaping and recording the screen okay so here's the key card I pick it up and you see the text printed you picked up the green key card so now we can go back again and this is uh, Unreal Engine 4.7 by the way i have just now upgraded and it's look, it looks pretty damn good so I use it you use the green key card so what we will do now is substitute this print string for text that pops up in game so the first thing I gotta do uh, and you know if you wanna learn how to create this setup you know so you get a key and then you make a change in the game then you can watch this video uh, where you learn how to use one key card to open the door or you can use that video and learn how to use two key cards or more to open the door or you know toggle the light and whatever so you can check those out and then come back here or you can just simply do this so okay so now I'm gonna go into the actor class classes blueprint class green door and the green key card so we will start by taking you can see here the print strings you use the green key card you need the green key card so we will change those so back into the viewport I will add component simple text component text render and I'm gonna call this need green key card and I'm gonna create one saying let's see text render one saying used green key card okay now this will be right here so I'm gonna start with the need green key card and I'm gonna just set the use green key card to not visible right now. And then come back to this. And in the text, 
I'm gonna write simply need green key card like that so I'm just gonna put it a little bit behind the light and scale it down a little bit and scale it up a little bit and I want it to appear right in the middle of the door doorway let's see almost like that a little bit smaller or maybe more squished together like that yeah that's that's ish good a little bit bigger I think that looks pretty cool you need a green key car like that perhaps yes that's good so when I come here it will pop up and say that stop doing that I'm still not perfectly happy though okay I'm not gonna get perfectly happy right now but that's okay I'm perfectly happy anyway so now we wanna make this not visible because you're not gonna see it when you get there but as soon as you um, overlap that collision box it will pop up and tell you exactly what you need so in the event graph, I'm gonna take the need green key card component, drag it in, and drag this out, and toggle visibility. Connect it to the print string. I'm not gonna remove the print string because it's okay to have it there. It won't show in the in the build anyway. And now we can see if it actually toggles to make sure it's right yes but now it will just be there and we don't want that we want it to be removed so I'm gonna drag this out and add a delay let's say three seconds and then when completed I could just connect this to the toggle visibility again but then it would toggle on and toggle off and toggle on and toggle off and toggle on and toggle off so instead I'm just gonna take another toggle visibility and make sure I'm picking the right one and now compile and we will see I'm just gonna save just in case so I get here bloop, need green key card and then bloop, it's gone again exactly what I want so need green key card and then it's gone again so the next stop now and you know now you really know it all but I'm gonna finish this so you can see it completed so next now I'm gonna create the used green key card. I'm gonna make it visible again so I can see what I'm doing. Like that. Used green key. Or you can just take access granted. Granted. Access is guaranteed granted. Like that, scale it down a little bit, squish it, drag it, and scale it up a little bit, see what it looks like. Oh, it's really small. It's really small. Like that, perhaps. So you know you could just add a point light with the color you want the text to have and it will light it for you. Okay, access granted. So then we can remove the visibility and go back into the event graph and repeat 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 the same thing. So 
another no no first drag in the use screen key card then drag that out toggle visibility and I'm gonna just copy no no create a delay and then another toggle use screen key card yes it's gonna be there for three seconds as well and we're gonna connect this to that so when the light is uh, toggled when you get a key card it will toggle the used key card test so we compile it save it and then we will jump on to our key card which is here so you picked up the green key card so we create a new component text render I'm gonna call it picked up green key K card and in the text field picked up green key card and this is not correct set up so I'm gonna do like that front like that let's see what it looks like looks like that so I'm gonna do like this and maybe change the color a little bit maybe not blue yeah well that looks ugly but it doesn't matter Maybe more like this okay so compile and save just in case save everything always save everything so now remove the visible visible go to event graph drag the picked up in and same procedure as always toggle visibility delay maybe just two seconds and then toggle visibility key card picked up key card yeah so we connect this so it destroys the key card and then toggles the text let's see so you enter the room and you see the key and you pick it up and it didn't show okay that's probably because this is a destroy actor so when it destroys the actor it destroys everything so you can't you know print anything so we probably just need to hide the mesh instead so um, set actor hidden in game perhaps wasn't exactly what I was looking for. Oh, remove. Um. Oh, maybe destroy component because then it will only destroy the green key card component. Let's hope. Let's hope. Because I'm running out of ideas. Okay, let's see. Yes! So, that's how you do it. So now let's take all of it to make sure it's right. Go here. 
You need the green key card, dude. Alrighty, so you walk on. Jump a little. Take the elevator. Enjoy the shadows on the wall. Go in here. Boop. Picked up green key card. It is removed as well. As well. And you go down. Now let's hope. Let's hope. I'm always in a hoping mood or in a hoping mode when doing this. Let's see. X is granted. Okay, so I should have switched that out with a new light that could light that text up. But at least this is better than no text at all. And if you do it right, then it might be really cool. And of course, you can put in custom fonts and whatever. So. Yeah, that's what I had now. Let me know if there's anything else and have a great day.